Hey there, Coach Nancy with The Watering Now. I have a fast, simple, what I eat in a day video for you today. What we're gonna do is use what I have in my refrigerator, which, which I always do, but I'm gonna show you things that I've already prepped for the week and give you some ideas about how to do some rolling prep, we call it. Always looking ahead to what's, what meals are coming down the road and having some things on hand. So before I get into what we're gonna do for breakfast, lunch, and dinner today, I'm just gonna show you a quick little um, template, if you will. If you're new to it, G-bombs. If you're not, you know what this means. So G-bombs are the things that Dr. Furman recommends we include in our day, in our daily eating, high nutrient foods. Greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries, seeds, and some nuts. So this is like what I make sure I eat every day. So I'm just gonna leave this out so we can consult it and make sure we're getting the foods that are recommended to eat on Eat to Live. All right, without further ado, I'm gonna go over to the fridge here. I was thinking about what I wanted to do and I planned on a, what I'm calling a deconstructed uh, smoothie bowl. So I'm getting the ingredients that may go in a smoothie, but we're gonna eat them in a different way. Black tea that I already have ground. So speaking of rolling prep, I buy my black seed whole and then I grind it with a coffee grinder, keep it in the, in the freezer so it's all ready. Um, I also keep hemp seed in the freezer when I need that. And then I've got fruit ready to go. So this has some strawberries, blueberries, grapes, golden kiwi, peaches. Um, peaches are in season right now. So I'm calling this deconstructed smoothie because I'm going to add some greens and fruit together. So I've just got two big hands full of greens and I'm just going to pulse. I know it's kind of weird having greens for breakfast, but remember greens are the number one G bomb. So that's the G. So dark leafy greens. I'm using spinach for this. You could use kale or cabbage or something else. Spinach is the mildest, so I'm just going to make a bed of spinach. I'm going to use quinoa and a corn tortilla later on in the day, so I don't want too many greens in a day, but add oats if you want to. Just some dried oats on top. So there's a nice heaping cup of fruit. I'm going to add a tablespoon of flax and some hemp hearts. For some good omega threes and nines. So this is all ready. All you need to do is do a little stir. Um, if you want to add a little bit of plant milk, you could certainly do that. Make it more like a cereal, um, but it's yummy. The greens are unexpected, I know, but they're gonna add a little crunch and a little moisture to this, and you hardly know that they're there. So I'm gonna do just a few walnuts and slice up Chop them up and put them on top. So, the nuts and seeds help with nutrient absorption um, of the greens. So whenever you're eating greens, make sure you eat a little source of fat in nuts and seeds or avocado. Be back for lunch. Okay, we're back for lunch, but let's look at the G-bombs. So we've had some greens and we've had some berries and we've had, we've had some seeds. So we're well on our way for lunch. I'm gonna pull together, I've got my container of salad greens that I chopped two days ago. And what's in here is a mixture of um, romaine lettuce, spinach, some cabbage, some sweet kale mix, which includes radicchio, some shredded Brussels sprouts, kale, carrots, Got a few cucumbers in here. I'm gonna add some more sweet pea pods that are in there. So I've really got my mixture. Um, got some sturdy greens in there like the kale and cabbage, as well as romaine is a pretty um, sturdy lettuce. And then I've got some um, spring mix too. That's a less sturdy. So I'd like to do a combination because it makes a nice crunch. 
and then I'm going to add some things to it to make it more interesting and more satisfying. And one of the things is artichoke hearts. So these are just plain artichoke hearts um, that I got from Trader Joe's. They're frozen. I'm just going to do a little steam in here. And I also have some beets. So the beets, I just quartered and cooked in the Instant Pot. With I didn't even take the skin off. Um, that way they don't bleed as much. I like beets. If you go to thewateringmouth.com slash cheat sheets, you can sign up to get all of these recipes plus any of the past recipes we've done in videos and all the future ones. Um, so thewateringmouth.com slash cheat sheets. This is a um, Brazil nut dressing. Pretty simple, pretty thick as well. You can always thin out your dressing if it's too thick for you, as the recipe is um, written. And um, it's got a little tarragon, a little thyme, some Brazil nuts, and some oranges. And then a little plop of salad dressing. And then just stir it up when you're eating your salad. But for presentation, I'm just going to do it this way. And be sure you have plenty of dressing. That's what makes it yummy. If we look at our dew bombs again, we got more greens. Oops, beans. I'm glad I consulted that because I need some beans. So this is just some Puruana beans, which is one of my favorite kind of creamy bean. I like to put Puruana beans in my hummus. So I have these on hand. So I'm just gonna do about a half a cup of beans. You can have half a cup, a cup, whatever. If you're an exerciser and you feel like you need extra protein, beans won't hurt you at all. They're great for you. So enjoy your salad and we'll be back for a quick dinner. This, my friends, is quinoa, not couscous. <laughs> About 10 times when I was doing the video, I said couscous. I meant quinoa. Sorry. Alrighty, so now we've had our greens, we've had beans. I'm gonna actually put some raw onion on top of what we're having tonight, so I'll show you that. Mushrooms um, are gonna come up tonight. Um, we've done some berries. Uh, Dr. Furman recommends at least a cup of berries, so we've probably had a half a cup in breakfast. So we'll serve another half a cup of, um, or up to a cup, some more berries after um, dinner. And then seeds and nuts. Um, I think we're set on that with the dressing and what we had on breakfast. So let me grab a mushroom. So it's helpful to just keep that list before you, g bombs, um, to consult it because I had forgotten my mushroom. I hadn't read through that list. So all we're gonna do is about four cups or so of vegetables. And I'm just going to do assorted vegetables. I've been heating my skillet. I have a green pan nonstick, and I'm just going to show you. See how this kind of bubbles and disappears? That's perfect heat. Um, so I'm going to put my veggies in there as I prep them. Whatever vegetables you have on hand is perfect. That's going to start exuding a little bit of water. I'll watch it. I'll add a little more water if I need to. What I'm going for for this um, dinner can be simple steamed vegetables or you know, sa water saute vegetables like this. I'm going to add a little more water. Um, but we're going to make it a little interesting tonight and put them in a corn tortilla. I just found some yesterday Yesterday, that are pretty simple. They know how to add an ingredient, so I'm going to do a couple corn tortillas for dinner tonight as a um, holder for these veggies. Do a little bit of shredded green and red cabbage with some carrots. Just a little bit. A little color. You could actually do those um, raw if you wanted to. I made couscous, another rolling prep idea. Have it on hand, maybe a half a cup of couscous. Let's let this sweat a little bit. These don't 
don't need much in the way of seasoning. I am going to add a little bit of Kirkland brand no salt seasoning. Just a little. And then I'm going to actually use a California balsamic curry um, in my wraps. So we'll be right back with all the ingredients to put together. All right, our veggies are done and take long. I put two of these organic thin corn tortillas in the microwave. Just gonna do them for a few seconds, 15 seconds or so. So we're just gonna do these bad boys. We could um, add some fresh greens if we wanted to as well. You could line it with lettuce. Cuckoo. What I'll probably do is, so I don't overstuff these, I'll just do some in here and then I'll do some on the plate to eat plain. Add a little bit of couscous that I've heated up. Do the couscous or not. Up to you, I just had it on hand. Do a little drizzle. Kind of unexpected on a corn tortilla. You expect the text decks, but this is going to be a little curry, so fun. Put a few onion slices on top, and we'll serve this with berries, and dinner is served. So you've got a whole what I eat in a day, quick, easy, with some pre-made things in your fridge. You can pull together meals in no time. So there's no excuse not to eat to live because you'll feel vibrant and amazing. So enjoy these meals. Remember um, thewateringmouth.com slash cheat sheets for the recipes. Till next time, it's Coach Nancy. Be good.